Hey, welcome back to the AI Summit London. I'm Ben Wadecki and I'm joined by Craig from AI Forge and Sushi as well. Craig, how's it going? Good, it's a great show so far. Good, and we've still got a bit more to go as well, but we're here to talk about what you guys are doing. Talk us through, you're working on incubator stuff. Talk us through what you, exactly you guys are sorting out. Okay, so we are a, an incubator, so we give birth essentially to thick 36 companies per year. So we do three cohorts. 12 weeks, pretty intense, uh, 12, we, uh, so 12 companies per cohort. And we're very different because it's, we're, they're surrounded by entrepreneurs. So as a consequence, we get 85% of our cohort funded at the end of the program and typically about a quarter of a million pounds. So we're, we're not like a, a tech stars, you know, it's a bit more kind of anodyne, we're very intense, it's, we call the baby ugly. Okay. So you know, we, we, we can help uh, change their business, we can help them pivot, but ultimately we get them funded at the end of the program. So Craig, this is important given the huge interest in AI and the huge wave of people not only investing but looking to get in on the ground and build up their own companies. You know, how long have you been doing this, but also, you know, where does the innovation start? Is it, are you talking to people that want to get in now or people that have been doing this for years? What's the kind of process? Okay, so um, last year I did uh, blockchain. I, we've started about 50 blockchain companies. Uh, we accounted for 24% of all blockchain companies last year. I've now switched, we got bought out, I've now switched to AI. What's interesting is it's kind of shifted from more kind of deep tech and machine learning, you know, PhDs tinkering with their train set for years and years. It's now much more kind of product based. People kind of want to, you know, build on one of the big kind of uh, AI platforms, get to market very quickly, create a, a solution. But that's the whole thing. We're going to disrupt lots of industries, but very quickly. Yeah. At the end of the 12 weeks, they will have a working prototype. We will make sure they will have, and we stitch them together with corporates. So it just means we can we can. We, we create real world solutions, it's not just kind of theoretical nonsense. I mean, it's very apt that you're doing it so quickly given how the AI Summit has shifted in speed, right? In the, uh, since November. Talk uh -huh. me through some of the companies that, or some of the brands that you've seen that have come to you and say, we've got this idea. What kinds of things are you seeing right now? We've had some, some fantastic kind of applications already and we've only just kind of started. I mean, clearly, the conversational AI is going to be very important. There, there was a great one which I love personally because whenever I speak to a call center, you know, it's a moronic conversation that takes 20 minutes of my life. So what they've got is they've got prompts. They can understand what's happening. They can kind of listen to the words being used by the, um, by the customer. You know, the inflection, the pauses. Is that person getting angry? And therefore, it can actually pop up prompts to the call center operator to actually ask different questions, to, to start doing different things, to diffuse the situation, uh, and actually to come up with a better solution. So that's just one, but I mean, we all know, you know, kids are going to have uh, their own AI tutor. Mm -hmm. We're all going to have our own personal assistant. So there's, so it, I think it's very interesting. Even, you know, we all talk about Gen Z's. Uh, they, we've had a great uh, application in terms of they want uh, a, a kind of an artificial bot to be able to do HR related uh, with Gen Z's because you know they're a little bit more sensitive, mm -hmm. they need uh, a little bit more emotional support, and these are all the things that we can we can provide. I hate to admit I do as well because uh, <laughs> I fit in that category. Um, Craig, on that as well, you've obviously, as you said, you shifted from blockchain to AI. What's that shift been like? Is there a different attitude? Is there a different approach? <coughs> what have you kind of seen differently? Holy, it's, it's unbelievably different. Uh, blockchain, we spent most of our time explaining what we weren't. No, we're not the crypto. No, we're not the mm. investor speculation. It's so much easier with AI. So, you know, corporates, we're out there kind of talking and they're saying, right, okay, we're very interested. If you've got a solution for us, then we want to do a pilot, we want to do a letter of intent. So that's been very, I mean, we raised 24 million pounds in a heartbeat. We're opening up 10 of these globally. I mean, I feel so blessed that we've shifted really from blockchain. However, I think one of the key things that we're going to do because of our blockchain experience is actually we're going to put together AI and blockchain. Okay. So, you know, there's a lot of fake news, there's a lot of things. We can actually introduce blockchain to kind of eradicate a lot of that. 
And I think if we can introduce the Internet of Things, you know, I think we can start to do uh, some really exciting, interesting things, which are very different than than that's that is out there already. So, where you said you meant you're expanding so around ten different country, uh, ten different cities. What kind of places are you looking at? And talk us through your choices as well. So, so Vancouver's quite interesting for us. Potentially uh, Hong Kong, probably Hyderabad, okay. as you know. So, US, India, and then the UK is is number three. Um, Europe, we can kind of get them to come to London. You know, we give them money, we cover their expenses, et cetera, et cetera. So, so we're not looking at uh, European countries just yet, but probably a little bit further afield. Uh, Ghana is, a, is of, of, of great interest. So we've got quite an aggressive rollout plan. We, we launch on the sec 2nd of the September in London and Miami and then two next year, two the following year, et cetera. So that's a really quick expansion as well. Yeah. Is that purely off the back of what's gone on the last year, or how long have, has this expansion been going on for? Is this something that's completely new and moving? I, I think it helps. This is my 10th startup. Okay. Uh, my investors have made a lot of money off the back of my previous exit. So, so uh, you know, they, they re re realize and recognize they're going to make some money. They all love AI. So I'm, I'm kind of the right person at the right time with the right idea. So you've come in clearly at the right point, as you said. Yeah. What are you kind of seeing going on in the next 12 months? What do you think changing? What do you think is going to come in and, and adapt? Anything that you're keeping an eye on personally? A in AI, I mean. <laughs> every, everything happens so quickly. It's like even in just the last kind of two weeks is, you know, and, you know, so GPT, instead of, you know, it could only remember 300 words. Mm. Now it's, you know, unlimited. So actually it, can, it has a memory. So it can genuinely understand. You can have a genuine conversation. I mean, let me give you a, a perfect case in point. The American Army, okay, they want to reduce PTSD, you know, they're getting sued, reduce suicide, et cetera. They created an artificial therapist. 85% of soldiers prefer chatting to that than a real therapist. That's crazy. And what that means is because they've, they've said, you know, there's less, you know, it's less intrusive, they can open up more. They actually proffer 250% more information, which means because she's essentially analyzing 58 points, it could be you know, your, your inflection, your, uh, your movements, your eyes, which you can all capture. She's actually making better informed decisions and advice. And this is the crazy thing, is you're actually getting a much better um, end result from using AI than you are from human beings. No, you're right, especially when it comes to the one you spoke about earlier with the call center. I know that for me as well is definitely a, yeah. a pain point. And, and Craig, I think just finally, the most important thing for me at this summit, the real highlight, the thing that everyone is talking about is your companion and that sushi. How have you found the, you know, everyone approaching the show? You know, <laughs> I mean, people must be enjoying the show just for the dog alone, am I? You know right? what? It's, it's my babysitter let me down this morning. <laughs> I rang the organizers. You guys said yes, no problem, okay. And what's been great is we've had him on the stand on our booth, which means everyone's been stopping to pat the dog. I think, I think <laughs> next year I'm worried more people are going to be bringing dogs. And I'll be honest, bring it on. I can't wait. You, you're a trendsetter <laughs> here as well. Look at this. Come on. Have you got <laughs> oh, it's too high. Too That's high. That's all right. right. Craig, it's been an absolute pleasure talking to you. Best of luck with what's going on, and hopefully by this time next year, there'll be even more cities you're expanding to. So fingers crossed, good luck. Thank you for your time. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Thank you.